I was putting the new airbags on here. These are easy ones. It's just got uh, two, two bolts on the top. One of them has a hole in the middle of it for an air fitting. And then uh, yeah, just one other bolt. And then this one has a nut that goes on the outside of it, plus the air fitting in the middle. And then two bolts on the bottom. Ready to start it? Yep. Probably pretty good. See if you can make that. Pressure's good. Temperatures are not even recording yet. Yeah, it's too early for that. All right. Or maybe blocking your path up here. We'll see. <laughs> Got a little brake test. So we're going, yeah, we're going to the right. the rattly thing back there. Do you know what that is? Something. Which one? There's a, the new air conditioner is rattling up here. 
which I got up, I'm trying everything but removing it, which is what I guess I'm gonna have to do. I think it's something in this overhead bin or this overhead bin or something. Well, if you can identify or drive when I get up there, because that thing's been driving me nuts. <laughs> I thought it was air uh -uh. No, and that, that's what I used to love when Kelly would ride with me, because she would identify all of those squeaks and rattles and then take care of them. Well, let's go back together. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's much more pleasant without that rattle. <laughs> I've driven thousands of miles listening to that. <laughs> and I just needed you on board to find it. <laughs> One of the other ones is doing it just a little bit. How's our temperature gauge? Is it starting to register yet? Still starting to creep up. Okay. Sound, yeah, you got some horsepower here. I'm pretty sure you spun your tires a little bit there too. Motor's <laughs> doing a good job on that bus. It's got two solar panels up there now. So we took this bus out for a test drive yesterday. It was so rattly and squeaky inside that we started working on some of the noises, but we're gonna take Kelly out today and really try to eliminate some of that stuff. All right, so here we go on. Operation Shake, Rattle, and Roll. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's gonna find all the squeaks and rattles in here and stop them. We hope. <laughs> Oh, you, you do more than just identify them. Yeah. <laughs> you actually are, have expertise in making them go away. That's great. I try. Yeah, <laughs> identifying them is, the, is way over half the battle. I that, put this thing on cruise control and went to the back to try and listen to some of them, but that just didn't work out. <laughs> We can just shove paper towels in your ears. That'll make them go away. So what is the, the clicking noise that I'm hearing coming from up by you? <laughs> oh, that is uh, 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 the transmission uh, fault code clicking away. A relay. Okay. Wait till you hear his turn signal, Kelly. I'm not gonna use my, my indicators. Well, Scott makes fun of me because certain frequencies, pitches and stuff drive me nuts. And he can't hear it most of the time. So then that drives me nuts because he can't hear it. I can hear his turn signal when he uses it. Turn your turn signal on just so she can hear it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound like that? That sounds like an alarm for your air brakes or yeah. something. I suspect that a previous owner left his turn signal on a lot. Hit, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It left his signals on a lot, and he was a pilot, commercial pilot, I think maybe. And that, uh, I think, well, I'm not going to make a general <laughs> statement like that, but it, I, they're real by the book people. Yeah, well, you got enough gauges in here; he'd have been comfortable. <laughs> It's already way quieter than it was yesterday at this time. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till we get going down the road. I mean, you're gonna hear a little bit of squeaking. And... Yeah. Same route as yesterday? Yeah.
I'm guessing I see stuff on top of the fridge, so it might be here. There's definitely noises coming from inside, so it's probably whatever. I can feel the rattle from in here. So whatever he's got stored. Yeah. It's a hundred times quieter just by him going in and putting the... This would not drive me nuts. Yeah. Are you above... That's above the refrigerator. I can't really see it. Yeah, above the fridge. Yep, there's a... I mean, you hear the, the stuff that you have sitting up there. You hear the little bit of rattle from that, but... Yeah, that's the only thing I... I'm pretty much hearing what's inside his cabinets. There's one thing I hear that's really loud, though. Inside his cabinets, if that's what you're hearing, because it still sounds louder here. So, yeah, this, this door rattles. So, take a paper towel and shove it in there and then close it. How does this is it just pull there's, open? There's a latch right here in the bottom. Okay. But we'll fold See, it a few times. Yeah, he's got dishes and stuff in there, it's so okay, that's. But it's the door that's rattling, not that. But I hear from inside there, too. Another one of these doing that? This one's rattling. Yeah, I think the last one's rattling too. Yeah, but this, one. this one's doing it. Rubber. Now there's a squeaky. The squeaky's coming from over here. Squeaky from here. I hear a squeaky over here too. For sure. Other people listen for that thing and they keep pointing up to the ceiling and it was like I couldn't sitting here you can't tell. Yeah. And uh he pegged it right off the bat and went, well, I heard it. <laughs> well, he's probably learned too from our bus because he'd be driving down the road and I'd be going around trying to figure out what's causing it. Yeah, when you're driving, there's nothing you can do except just try to block it out. <laughs> but well, that one though, the the first, the loudest, biggest one that you fixed yesterday was the one that's been driving me nuts for since I left California. Yeah, I have no idea how you still have that in this bus. That would have been priority number one to rip that out. <laughs> yeah, I would have been telling Scott, pull over, let's take care of this. <laughs> well, I could snip the wire to it, but I think it's the same alarm that if I turn the key off and the headlights are on. Uh -huh. I don't want to be the guy that goes down the road for miles with my yeah. turn signal on either, so there, I've got to... <laughs> there, that, that sound, though, tells me something's wrong, that kind of a... Right, yeah. I'm afraid it's a little bit like a crying baby yeah. syndrome, where I've heard it enough now that it doesn't bother me that much. This is so much quieter than yesterday. It's just the screen rattles a little bit, but it's not something that's 
drive me crazy, but it does rattle. Yeah, you could just stick a little piece of cork behind it or something. But I don't know, you, you guys probably don't hear it though, but it's right behind my head, so. Well, I can actually hear the engine now. I couldn't really hear the engine yesterday. It was so loud in here. Well, I'm so used to driving it the way it's been that uh, when you said about the porpoising here, yeah, it detonating shocks. I just went, oh, I thought that's how it just was supposed to be. You know? I mean, no matter what, you're going to hear some kind of noises. What's that? I think it's probably that. that Sounds thing. over there to me. Probably one of those cabinets. I hold, hear, hold that cabinet up there. He's got stuff behind out there. I hear air coming, but I hear your screen rattling behind you. Something's behind you. That is the air conditioner. Yep, that is making noise there. It feels like it's the, the roof part or something. Yeah. So that little thermometer is making a rattle. He's got to hang on that light, which that light hangs on a gimbal. That's kind of neat. The screen is also rattling. It's all getting pretty quiet. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, the screen, that's easy to just throw something there. I almost fell out of the seat. <laughs> That'll work twofold. Not only will the noise bug me, but then all the people flashing their lights at me, trying to get me to turn off my flasher. <laughs> Keep me awake at night. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. At the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done 